Hey guys, so I have a 2008 Volkswagen Touareg. I have the same issue. The shifter won't come out of the park. And the other issue is uh, the key is stuck. So uh, I've seen a whole bunch of videos on YouTube regarding it, but none of those really explain what really is going on. So the keys there, can't take it out. If I try it out, uh, the shifter is all the way in the P. And one thing to notice is the lock, the button on the shifter is pressed all the way in. So this is an indication and I'll go into the detail what exactly is going on. The problem is with this shifter assembly right over here, there's a lever, a plastic lever that's inside over here, which gets stuck and you can't move the car. Well, if you're lucky enough, uh, you can move the car, uh, the, the shifter into the reverse neutral uh, and drive and then go back into the park but the problem would be uh, the key won't come out if you try to take the key out it's stuck so if you try to start the car it will start everything is good uh, it will if you're lucky once again uh, the shifter is stuck in a way where you can easily put it in reverse uh, neutral drive and you can drive it around and I kind of already messed up with this thing so i intentionally put it in this uh, position so that i can at least drive the car until i get a replacement the shifter assembly and the only fix that i have found so far is to have the whole shifter assembly replaced so i'll go over uh, step by step exactly how to diagnose this thing if this is the problem but intentionally i have put it in in a in such a uh, situation where I can use the car use the shifter but the only problem would be I can't take the key out because I keep on getting that message and as a temporary workaround uh, there's a whole bunch of videos which goes over how to uh, take the key out uh, there's a small uh, button over here I'll, there's a whole bunch of videos on the internet on it so uh, but usually what I do is like there's a whole button over here you press it and then you turn the key to the left and then this thing comes out so I still get that message I have the key out uh, and as a workaround I can still drive the car so what really is the problem the problem once again I said is actually inside this lever um, uh, so what do you guys and again if you are experiencing this problem uh i actually intentionally put it over here my car was actually stuck in p it won't come out uh, the key won't come out and i couldn't use it couldn't move this lever at all couldn't use the car uh and if you're getting stuck in this situation uh what what you need to do is uh remove this label and then once after remove there is actually a a pin over here which you can just use a screwdriver and pull it out once that thing is out uh just be careful i am think it will take some force and then this will come out once this thing is out this is where the problem is so see how how this is stuck it's not even moving so on a good working one this what happens is like this you should have a good kind of a movement over here you should be able to pick it up and it will fall down automatically of course it won't come out until you put the key inside but again uh like intentionally i have put it over here which is kind of stuck uh, and <laughs> and another thing that you can do is like you can take a plier you can try to manually pull it up and move it down so see now it's i've moved down once i moved it down and i put the key inside the car starts everything is good uh, I don't have and once I turn the car off I won't get that message for for the uh, to put the lever in the in the park position because it's already down and then it has to be down because there's a mechanism which I will explain has to go down all the way which the sensor realizes and that's gonna what's gonna lock it another thing is some there are some videos which talks about the solenoid which might uh, uh, go bad and that will also uh, not let your uh, lever to move back there's a there's a manual procedure of how to do that thing but to rule that thing out is like if you, if you start the car and then if you press your brake 
there's there's a whole bunch there's two uh, there's a, an ender lock mechanism which it releases at the bottom and uh, that once that releases then you can pull it up and move it back so I don't know if you can hear it or not so I'm gonna press the brake and listen the click So that's that's the mechanism actually releasing it so that's the first mechanism that has to get released which is linked with a solenoid so if you're hearing that noise your pro your solenoid is good there's no problem with that your problem is with this one and for this thing to release this lever goes down straight and then there is a u uh, plastic uh, material uh, lock underneath which once you pu push that button uh, on the lever this thing goes up once it goes up then you can move it back so what I've done is like, I'm using it manually. I pull it up, once it's up, then I can move the shifter into a different location. So this is the temporary workaround that I've used. The only thing I have figured out is like, this has to be, uh, uh, the shifter has to be replaced. Uh, I haven't taken it out. I've ordered a new one. Once I get it in, I'll go into the detail and see if this is actually something that's replaceable, fixable. Uh, but until then, hopefully this will help. And I'll, I'll also explain, uh, once I start opening it up, I'll explain exactly how this whole mechanism works. Hopefully this will help some guys. Uh, uh, and uh, if I miss something, so let me know. And if you have found another better way of fixing this thing, uh, yeah, let me know on that one as well. Hopefully this will help some of you guys out there. So, good luck.